saw yesterday the outside of the new Love Island Villa, didn't we? But I think he's had a chance to explore inside. Let's see what he's up to. Morning, Richard. Yeah, hi guys. Good morning once again from a very sunny uh, Cape Town. I won't lie to you, it's absolutely bliss in this part of the world this morning in the shadow of uh, Table Mountain. And of course, that is the view that the 12 singletons who are strutting their stuff in the Love Island Villa from Sunday night onwards for the next six weeks over on ITV2 will be contemplating in their search to find the one. Well, I found my one yesterday in the form of Laura Whitmore and she gave me a sneaky peek inside the villa. Come in for a bit. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Let's do it. Come on in. It's huge. It's really big. This is new. This is so exciting. This is called the dog house. That means the other half is, you know, being a little bit naughty. You put them in here. So there's a fold away bed. It's oh. actually quite comfortable. It looks like I'd really rather this than the bed sometimes. It's bigger than my first flat. Should we go into the bedroom? Yeah, let's Where do Where the it. magic happens? There's 14 beds. Yeah. 12 contestants. Yeah. It's almost like there might be a, a bombshell. Happening. My mother would be thrilled if I brought you home. My mother would be thrilled if I brought you home. <laughs> There's a lot of space for conversations, yeah. for relationships to grow. Little nooks and crannies so you want to get away from everyone else. The girls like to make a bit of a mess when they're getting ready. Yeah. The guys do as well, but they never really had a space for themselves. Until now. I do think the girls win, though. This is pretty special. Look at all these little places for all, all the makeup, beauty products. Going away on holidays anywhere nice? <laughs> That's great. This is pretty special now, so if you think about it, once they've coupled up, little hideaway treat, little dinner, romantic dinner for two. Hop in the tub afterwards. Laura, of course, in the voice of uh, Love Island, Ian Sterling, good pals of mine, and they've been a couple for quite some time now. So aside from puckering up, I have to ask every time I meet them, because I, I want to buy a hat, any chance of a ring on it? It's a leap year this year. You know what that means, don't you? An extra day of the year, an extra lion. It means the lady can get down on one knee. The lady can do that any time of the year, Richard Arnold. Ah, I love you. Aside from all the pictures that we've seen of the Singletons who are going into the villa, one that's caused a little bit of a chatter back home, I understand, because of his likeness to East Ender Jake Woods, is Ollie, of course. He's the one who owns a beach. The resident Mr. Whippy, effectively, in the Love Island um, villa. Hopefully, he'll have much better luck in matters of the heart than Max Branning.